was a blues, a 12 bar blues in a jazz style in the key of B flat. And I want to show you how to play these chords. Uh, I call this Freddie Green style. Uh, he's the guy in Count Basie's orchestra who early on on guitar popularized the uh, these particular chord voicings and this style of playing. This, this simple version is called Four on the Floor where you're doing all four beats in every measure, all downstrokes. Uh, the first chord is a B flat seven and you're gonna go, every one of these chords is only three notes. And it's got a root on the bottom of the chord and two other notes to go along with it. So the B flat seven is the root on your low E string, sixth fret, and the A string is muted. If you're gonna be playing with a pick doing this style, you gotta make sure that the strings that don't have notes on them are muted in between. So the A string, if you hit it, should be just muted like that. And I do most of my mutes just laying my first finger flat across the strings and only pressing on the string that I wanna get a note out of. So you've got six mute, then on the D string it's sixth fret with your second finger, and on the G string it's seventh fret with your ring finger. And then your uh, second and first strings should also be muted as well. So get that chord under your fingers and uh, when you get this staccato effect you're releasing the chord with your left hand every time. Otherwise it sounds like which we don't really want. We want more of a percussive effect when, you do, when we do this. The second chord is an E flat 7 and you're gonna move your root to the A string You've got no note on your low E string, 6th fret on the A string, 5th fret, 6th fret, and then top two strings are muted again. And then you go back to your B flat 7. Uh, and at the end of these four, first four measures, we're going to get... So that was an F minor 7, and that's uh, on the... No, no note in your low E, you've got an F root on the A string, on the 8th fret, and then 6, 8 for your other two notes. And for, I think, every single one of these voicings, I'm using my first three fingers. Um, but if you want to, if it works out better for your hand, you can use different fingers. Like for this one, a lot of people might use finger 3, 1, and 4, uh, and leave out your middle finger. I prefer as much as possible to use my three strong fingers unless I really need to stretch out sideways like that. So that's F minor 7 and then B flat 7. Landing on E flat 7 again. Back to B flat 7. And then you go up to a G7, which is 10th fret on the A string and 9 and 10. So that's the same shape of that's the same shape that we saw from uh, from E flat seven up on G seven, and then we're going to go C minor seven, which is eight mute eight eight, and then uh, F seven, which is uh, eight on the A string seven eight. This is different from the F minor seven, which was eight six eight. Now we're eight seven eight. And then back to B flat seven. We're gonna repeat those last four chords again. They go quicker this time. So now naming the chords, I'll walk you through that same thing. It's gonna go. This is this is 12 bars long, so we'll go in four bar chunks. The first four bars are gonna be B flat seven, E flat seven, B flat seven, F minor seven, B flat seven. That takes us to the middle four bars, which starts on E flat seven, back to B flat seven, and then G seven. The final four bars are going to be um, more chords in this one than anywhere else. We've got C minor seven, F seven, B flat seven, G seven, C minor seven, F seven and then you land on B-flat at the beginning of the next cycle. So those last four measures, you notice that you get um, one chord per measure for the first half of it, and then uh, the last two measures were uh, two chords in each of those measures. Um, so if we go through that one more time, we can, look at, we can analyze what these chords are. We've got a one chord, a four chord. Uh, towards the end of the, uh, the cycle, we get um, a two, five, one or a one, six, two, five. Uh, knowing the names of all of this stuff is beyond the scope of this video, 
Um, but the more you see this stuff and experience it, the more you get a sense of that's the two chord and that's the five chord. And we can always call that the two chord, etc. So going through that same cycle one more time, I'm going to name these chords by what they are relative to the key. So we start with the one chord, four chord, back to one. And then here we're going to do a two five into four. So, so relative to the four chord, that was the two chord, and that was the five chord, and then we land on the four chord. Back to one. Now we go to six. Now two, five, one, six, two, five, back to one. So knowing the chords in that manner, in uh, relative to the key that you're in, uh, allows you to move it wherever you want. You don't have to play it always in B flat. You don't have to rememorize everything in a new key. You just have to mem memorize the order of chords. Uh, using that kind of nomenclature, the one, the four, etc. So we could move it to a different key. As long as you can navigate between all of those different chords, uh, you can move it to any key you want, anywhere on the fretboard, anywhere that you're able to navigate. And the nice thing about all of these chords is the root always lands on the E string or the A string. So if you're used to finding like an A bar chord or a C power chord or a G bar chord or something like that, you're always finding roots on those low two strings. So you're still finding those roots on those strings, uh, even when you're playing these kind of unfamiliar jazz chords. So let's do the whole thing in F and see how it goes. We're going to go our one chord on F, and then our four chord is B flat seven, back to one. Now we do a two five into the four chord, which is C minor, F seven, B flat seven. This is our four chord, and back to one. Now we go to six. And two, five, one, six, two, five, one. So there you have it. Experiment with finding those different chords uh, with your starting root on the low E string and with the, your starting root on A string like we just did. We did it in B flat with your root on the low E string 6th fret and we did it starting on F and I didn't give you every single one of those chords because the more of that work that you kind of piece together uh, the better it sticks in your own head. Good luck!